Welcome, in front of me is Lenovo ThinkPad C495 and in this video I will show you what to do if your laptop's battery is draining way too fast. First of all, uh, you can change the power mode. To do that, right click the battery icon on your status bar, then click power and sleep settings, go to power mode and change it to either balanced or best power efficiency. It's best if you uh, change this mode for both plugged in and on battery settings. The next thing that you can do is consider using energy saver. You can enable it automatically by switching the toggle to the right or you can set the value at which you want the value of your battery level at which you want the, the power energy saver to turn on automatically. The next thing that you can do is open screen sleep and hibernate timeouts and select the recommended values in this uh, fields. Now, the next thing that you can do is right click the taskbar, go to task manager and then right click one of the columns you see right here, click power usage then sort your, device, uh, your applications by power usage and see which applications use a lot of your uh, battery power. And if you want to turn uh, off one of these applications, just right click it and select End Task. Now, the next thing that you can do is disconnect devices that you don't use for, from your laptop. To do that, Click on the three icons on your status bar to enable control center, then click the arrow icon next to your Bluetooth icon. Check if some devices are connected to, to your laptop. Just click on one of these devices that you don't necessarily need right now and select disconnect to disconnect it from your computer. You, you will also reduce your battery usage in this way. Uh, you can also turn off your Bluetooth if you're, if you're not using it at all right now. And uh, the next thing that you can do is update your computer. To do that, go to settings, then scroll down to Windows Update section. Click check for updates if you don't have any prepared for you. And wait until your device che uh, checks for updates and once it finds any, it will automatically download and install them. Also check advanced options and go to optional updates and if you find any updates here, especially the driver updates, then also make sure to download and install them by hitting the checkbox next to the updates that you want to install and clicking download in and install in the bottom right corner. Okay, so I'm up to date, there were no updates for me, uh, but uh, you might have some additional updates that are specific for, for your device that cannot be found using Windows Update and to find them you're gonna have to download and install the Lenovo Vantage application. You can install it from the Microsoft Store, so open it and search for Lenovo Vantage. Then click download and install right here. And once it's installed you can open this application. When, wait until it's opened and the very important thing right, right here is the battery settings but we'll, we're gonna return to it later first of all let's open this devices uh, menu and go to system update and here check for updates and see if there are any updates for your device you can also uh, set an automatic update uh, update check for your device uh, by clicking this down arrow icon and then selecting the day and the time at which you want the uh, device to check for updates. And if this uh, application f uh, finds any updates for your device, you'll be able to ch hit the checkbox next to the ones that you want to install and click install uh, button somewhere right here. Okay, now let's go back to home. Uh, tap this three uh, dot icon. In, uh, in the top right corner of your battery, then go to battery settings, wait until the battery status hel uh, health status loads up, 
and see uh, here you can see the current battery health status so uh, here, here you can check the current uh, charge capacity of your device and full charge capacity of your device and uh, you can also check it uh, graphically on this uh, bar how uh, healthy your battery is and how worn out it is in my case it's almost uh, almost new so it doesn't need a replacement you can also che uh, check the bat uh, temperature of your battery right here to see if it's not overheated uh, heated. and also check all the additional information about your devices uh, your devices uh, battery and additionally you can set the battery charge threshold and this way you will prevent your battery from aging well not completely but significantly uh, to do that just hit, uh, switch this uh, toggle to the right and then select edit and uh, set the battery level at which you want your device to start uh, charging w when when it's below this value and uh, the value uh, to which you want your uh, battery to charge and then stop charging and this way if your battery is not charged to 100% for uh, like uh, for all the time when you're connected to the to the AC adapter uh, this this way you will you will prevent your battery from aging uh, so fast and you can also pr uh, perform the battery gauge reset which I recommend us uh, using uh, do it doing uh, every once a in a three months it's gonna take some time but it will uh, provide you with a more accurate estimate of your full charge capacity so you can uh, monitor your battery health uh, more precisely and that's a uh, that's basically that's basically it uh, for this uh, for this application and generally for this video as I mentioned everything I wanted so I hope that this video helped you and if it did please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and I'll see you in the next one